Hello everyone, TheGamingRing.com here, Mike Regan with Brian Williams. Brian, W12, what's new since we last saw it? First of all, let me just say it's good to see you. Thank you. I always look forward to talking to you and being on Gaming Ring. Yeah. So thanks for having me again, man. No problem. So, so what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what's new this year? What's new this year? WWE 12, we have, well, we have a new name yeah. for starters. No more SmackDown vs. Raw. Uh, we're rebranding. I think that's what all the marketing PR folks call it. We're rebranding the game this year, WWE 12. And uh, outside of that, you know, we got a ton of new stuff this year. Uh, first and foremost, our gameplay. You know, we've changed the control scheme this year. We've gone away from the uh, the right analog stick for grappling, and uh, all the, ma the all the main uh, actions are on the face buttons this year. So, the A button for the 360, you know, is uh, grapple. Uh, X is still strike. B is still Irish whip. So it'll take you. I mean, it's it's similar to our to last year's game. Just think of last year's game on a on the button scheme. I mean, anybody who's played Here Comes the Pain, which I'm sure anybody watching me right now on this website has played Here Comes the Pain. Think of that mixed with a little bit of you know last year's control scheme. You'll get the idea. Okay. Now uh, we're here at the roster reveal. Yes. So that's today. That's today. That's well, that was yesterday. Why was I didn't see the video? Oh, it was yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, so I can talk about everybody as an about everybody in the game. Oh, that's just like a first for me. Yeah, I know. It really. I'm not gonna get in trouble by blabbing. So uh, tell us about who your favorite superstar is in the game currently. My oh, that's easy, man. I got two. Okay. I got two. Daniel Bryan. I am so glad he's in the game this year. You know, last year he was supposed to be in the game. But that whole, you know, choking incident got him booted from WWE and the game. So I'm really glad he's in this year. Uh, so with that, we've got his move set in. That is awesome. We got the counter mutilation. You know, we've got his move set is is the shit, for lack of a better word. It's dope. And he's got a comeback also, which is one of my best come my, one of my favorite comebacks in the game. Uh, he does the whole running off the uh, the turnbuckle backflip to that elbow strike. It's really cool. Uh, and outside of him, you know, I'm a you know Tyson kid, T.J. Wilson. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, very underrated, I think. You know, or maybe not. I think most people know he's he's awesome, but he just needs to get that push a little bit more. And I'm so glad he cut off that hair. He looks he looks a lot more gangster with the the short crop hairdo. Uh, and as far as the legends go, like I'm I'm really super glad that we've got uh, Vader. I'm a big fan of Vader. Uh, he looks great. He looks awesome in the game this year. Just a lot of guys that we have in the game I'm, I'm really proud of. You're wearing the Broski shirt. You know, of course, you got Zack Ryder in the game. You know, it was take care of Spike Your Hair Man himself. So I use him a lot. Uh, and CM Punk I use quite a bit, you know, of course. And I'm, and I'm not just jumping on the CM Punk bandwagon because he's cool all of a sudden. I've been a CM Punk fan from the get. So I got my credentials. Yeah, we're in Let this. me ask you, who's your favorite? My favorite in the game? I like I like Vader. I haven't really had a chance to play him as much, but uh, CM Punk, of course, yeah, CM yeah. Um, uh, TJ Kid or Tyson Kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's cool. You you're a Tyson Kid fan. All right, awesome, awesome. I don't really see him much on TV, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's on Superstars a lot. Has some pretty good matches on Superstars. And and speaking of rosters, since we're talking about roster and stuff, uh, Sin Cara, who's in the game. Which Sin Cara? A Sin Cara is in the game. <laughs> that was very good, very good. And uh, and we've got the mood lighting for him as well when you play as him. So can can you turn that off? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Actually, no, you can't. But it's only for one on one matches. Okay. okay. Yeah. So like the Royal Rumble, he's not blue. He's entire... not blue. No, 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 no. Just one on one matches. Okay. We have that special lighting for him. Uh, talk about his finishers and his signatures and what moves are in it. Uh, well, we've got, like, for his finishers, like, you mean, like, his, his new one? Yeah. The WWE finish, where he does that uh, top rope uh, moonsault slam. We've got that in the game. In addition to his uh, tilt-the-world uh, arm drag or arm bar submission, we've got that also. It's funny about him, you know, when, when we added him to the roster, he hadn't made his debut yet. So, I mean, we I mean, just did research on his, uh, his stuff in, uh, in Mexico, basically for his moveset. So it's a combination of, you know, of his Mystico move set as well as what he's doing currently at WWE so it was just fortunate that he you know that we, we were told that he was going to be in the game well in advance so we were able to do both like get his his, his Mexico stuff as well as his current WWE very cool now uh, there's a lot of new entrance music being debuted in WWE recently yes. which ones are in and which ones are not oh man okay well we've got CM Punk's new one excellent I think that's the most important I mean no disrespect to anybody else uh, Dolph Ziggler, they kind of remix his stuff. We've got that. They keep, they, they seem to be going back and forth on Justin Gabriel. Uh, I think we have his most recent, 
But I think everybody's we have is up to date. But I know on SmackDown this past Friday, like Daniel Bryan got new music, and we're trying to get his. But like we're at the we're at that point now where it's really hard for us to add new new uh, content. So that one I can't promise whether or not we'll have his most current uh, music. But we're trying. We're trying. We've done a really good job. And shout out to Frank Bowen, who's one of our product uh, managers. He's <laughs> He's had his hands full with the constant requests because, you know, they've been, you know, making a lot of changes. Titan Trons, Mini Trons, music. So he's been doing a good job of coordinating with WWE to get those assets so we can put him in the game. So fingers crossed on Daniel Bryan. So let's talk about the Create Arena mode. I mean, that's been a personal request for many years. Many years. Well before I got on the game. Yeah. So what exactly can you do with that? All right. So Create an Arena. And before. Before anybody jumps on and says, oh, create an arena, and you have all these you know, ideas in head of what it will encompass, uh, we focused this year on the, the, ring, the ringside area specifically. Uh, so there isn't anything that you can really alter on the stage. We have, a, we have our created arena stage, which is you know, a stage designed specific for created arenas, but you won't be able to customize that. So once, now that we got that out of the way, I'll get into what you can customize, and that's a hell of a lot. Uh, anything in the ringside area can be customized from the barricade, which you can use a normal style W barricade, or you can switch it over and use the ECW style steel barricade. Uh, everything with the ring can be customized from the ropes. You can customize each individual rope, uh, turnbuckle pads, uh, the mat, the apron, the ring post, the floor mat, the announce table. <laughs> The electronic billboard, you can customize that. So, I mean, for, for us debuting this for this first year, I mean, I think it's a hell of a lot of content. And, and obviously, of course, as we, you know, as the future grows and, and iterations, we'll add a lot more stuff to it. But what we have right now is a hell of a lot of content. And it really is just that icing on the cake as far as our create modes go. Because, I mean, we've already allowed, you know, being able to create the superstar, their entrance, you know, their moveset, create a story. Uh, and this ring, is just for creative story. I mean, of course, it's allowed you to create all kinds of you know wacky stories and everything. And but with the creating arena, like you really can go balls to the wall and really have a story, whether it's your own promotion or an existing promotion or a past promotion. Like you can, it just allows you to tell those stories where you want to tell them without having to really kind of fake it by using a SmackDown arena. The same with the universe. These re these arenas can be used in universe as well. So, and you can trade them online uh, for, with community creation. So I'm really excited for the Creighton Arena. And I hope, you know, everybody watching this, when you guys get it, you know, you're just as excited as we are to uh, have, you know, implemented it and made it for you. Now, uh, during the presentation, they showed some arenas that were already made by the, the, the team. Yeah. Uh, will those arenas be available for download by the community, for the community? You know, we've been having talks about that, of having some of that content available on the day of release. And I think, and don't, don't hold me to this, because I don't want to promise anything, but I think we will have some of those arenas available for the, for the consumers to, uh, to download the day that they buy the, uh, you know, when the game comes out on November 22nd, I believe. Brian, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, sir. No, no, the pleasure's all on this side. Man. It's Thank all you. right here. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to everybody at Gaming Ring, you know, for just all you guys' constant support. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys dig this year's game. I mean, I, I love it. I love it this year. Thank you. Thank you.